Welcome back. We're here again to talk about McGraw-Hill My Math and the e-assessment. So I will just spend a little bit of time uh, looking at the e-assessment again. You've seen that with me. But we're really going to focus on how you can create what you want. Let's go over to Connect Ed now. And as you look at the page, you'll notice I'm in the Assessment tab. And of course, there are all of your assets again over there on the left. And you know from our previous video together that we were focusing on this very first icon, the e-assessment. Let's go ahead and click on it. And of course, as it launches, you see your question sets and your tests. And we looked at those that we've created for you here at McGraw-Hill. You're going to find those to be a wonderful asset. But I want you to look in the center of the screen right now. Click a link below or drag a test or question set into this area. And I'm going to cl click uh, to create a new test. Remember, in the upper right corner, we have that drop-down menu with three choices, and we're in the test generator portion of that drop-down. I'm going to click now on that create a new test. And just a few clicks, that's all it's going to take for me to create a brand new test that I can use as an online tool with my students taking it online and getting those results, or I can print it. I'm going to call this a quick start test. I'll label it number two. And then it asks me if I want a folder location. And you notice here that I can put it into folders that I've built and named, for instance, shared content or my test, or I can put it inside my grade level. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click the my test. Or I can even create a new folder. Now, when we look at the options, I have three. I can build an empty test. I can build with random uh, questions that are selected by information such as a difficulty level or I can just randomly select by um, question type. That's the one I'm going to use and I click the next button and I click the button and expand my test here and of course I chose my test and then of course by selecting where I want to go I want it to be chapter one. I hit click English and Spanish, isn't that great? I can choose my language. I'll choose English this time. And there it is. I have 39 pre-built items. 15 are multi-mode. 10 are multiple choice. I have 10 that are subjective short answer. Now, I just want to build a 10 item test. I just want to spot check. So I'm going to choose 5 from multi-mode. Notice how I'm just going to eliminate that zero, put a five there. I'll go ahead and do two in multiple choice. And again, notice I just got rid of the zero. And that leaves three more that I'll want to choose. Right here from subjective short answer. And next is what I'm going to click. And it reminds me, here's what you've built. Here's your summary and I hit finish. And there it is. I have multiple choice. I have the subjective short answer and it's all relevant to exactly what I just built and I can store it. Notice my options here. I can export it. That way the students can take it online. I can edit it, replace it, the test itself, I can scramble, I can to you know, toggle, I can provide the answers. Now, I see the answers on my screen. Students don't see that when they take it. Or I can even insert a new question. Perhaps I'd like to replace one or you know, change some of the multiple choice into yes, no's. This is the functionality, of course, of building what you want when you want by using e-assessment. Are you already thinking about what you're going to do with this? Yeah, it's tremendous. You're going to love using it. Now, here's your task following our video time together. I'd like for you to go into e-assessment at your grade level. I'd like for you to build a 10-item test. And then after you'd, you've done that, would you go back to your discussions? And would you post on the discussions what you liked about this, the strongest part of it for you? I'm sure your colleagues will appreciate hearing that. Thank you.